Hey, yo, yo, what, what's good? Hello, H hell, hi, H hi. Today we are going to be ranking Metallica songs. Now, I already did one, but those were from my favorite albums, and you know, they updated. But I want to do a tier list, so it shows like every single song that I've listened to that I liked, or like, from best to worst. Um, so we're gonna get started on Kill 'Em All. Hit the lights. It's a very good song. Don't get me wrong. Used to be my favorite. What the hell is this red line? Eh, I really don't care. Um, hit the lights. Of course, it's not my favorite. That would go to the Four Horsemen. The Four Horsemen is my is my favorite Kill 'Em All album song. Out out of out of all the songs, it's my favorite. Motor Breath, I think it's a really good song. It's a fast song. Um, it has an uplifting message. I think it is supposed to be an uplifting message. It's kind it's kind of like Whiplash, but I really don't know the message behind it. But it's a very good song. I'd say better than Hit the Lights, probably. You know, pause this for one second. There are going to be people down in the comments who are going to say never make a list again. And to those people, shut your damn mouth and go jump off a bridge. Okay, YouTube's definitely going to fucking kill me now. Jump in the fire. It's a v very good song. Like, a very good one. Um. I'd say, I'd say, yeah, it, it'd go in front of Motor Breath. Please go in front of Motor Breath, thank you. Anesthesia, that's my third favorite song out of all of it. Cliff Burton, you did an amazing job on this bass solo. He's he's a legend in the um, bass community, or among the best bassists, I'd say. He's my favorite. Among every bassist, him or James Newstead or the bassist of Anthrax, I forgot his name, would be my favorite. I mean, the only Anthrax song I've heard was Got the Time, but at the same time, no pun intended. Please don't take that as a pun, for the love of God. All of them are very good bassists. I, re I really think they're very good, especially Robert Trujillo. I think he's a very good bassist. His crab walk is a meme, but it's alright. Um, Whiplash. I'd say... Oh, it's pretty hard. I'm stuck between Motor Breath ahead of Whiplash and Whiplash ahead of Motor Breath. I would tie it, but at the same time, since it's a few mi few more minutes long, yeah, I'm gonna have to put it in front of Motor Breath. I'm sorry, Motor Breath. Phantom Lord. Okay, I have heard Phantom Lord before, but I haven't heard it to the point where like I've listened to it many times, and I can rank it. So sadly, I'll have to put it in Never Heard. But I have heard a part of it before. I think it's a nice song. The same with No Remorse. No Remorse. No, we don't care what it meant. Okay. Seek and destroy. Aha. Da -da -da. Okay, I'm done. Um. It too is also a very good song. I'd say if I had to rank it, I'd rank it fourth. And then Metal Militia. Once again, it's like Phantom Lord, No Remorse, and Metal Militia. They, they go and never heard. So, you know, I'm just going to change it. Heard enough. Okay, that's better. All right, we go on. To, we. You see, this is the problem when I'm recording. I don't have a script. Well, of course I don't have a script. You fucking retard. It's it's always I have to remember. And sometimes we're. Mm, words get jumbled in my brain. So if that happens, please fucking forgive me. Thank you. Alright, Fight Fire with Fire. This, this is actually my second favorite song. Um, so there's go. Ride the Lightning? It used to be my favorite song, right? If you've seen my, um, my favorite Metallica songs, I think, video, it used to be my favorite song. But now, it's not anymore. Don't get me wrong. It's a very good song. I, re I really like the song a lot. It's, it's, here's the thing, right? I love all these songs. 
I'm not I'm not trying to rank them by like well of course I am ranking them best to worst but I'm doing it even though I love all the songs like they're very good don't get me wrong um so fight fire with fire is in first um ride the lightning is also pretty for whom the bell tolls oh I wouldn't say it's above ride the lightning but it's kind of there so I'm gonna have to put it in third fade to black I have heard it but I I'm not a big fan of it right um okay of all the ride the lightning songs it isn't my favorite but it definitely I don't hate it but it would go um before whom the bell tolls trapped under ice that's a very good song I I I have listened to it before I stopped listening listening to it for some reason but I have listened to it why is my mouse bugging okay whatever I'm sorry about that I would say it's above for whom the bell tolls escape I have heard a bit of it not much though so we're gonna have to put it there creeping death my favorite song here's the weird thing I've never I've ne I've listened to a bit of the call of Cthulhu I think I might listen to it sadly though um, I'm gonna have to put it in not heard enough because I have heard clips of it though I think it would be a really good song I you see here's the problem I have a touchscreen computer so whenever spit comes out of my mouth it's it's like a tablet or a phone it just d does whatever it wants anyways we march forward to the master puppets album battery a very good song of course it isn't my favorite on the master of puppets album i think you know what it would be but it is definitely a very good song now here's my favorite master of puppets it's an iconic song even though even though here's the thing right i saw this cliff burton and james hetfield interview right they they said that metallica sold out even during master of puppets that's how that's how good it was and I can agree, the Master of Puppets album is among one of the greatest metal albums among... All five of these albums are actually very good. Of course, you might say Metallica sold out on these albums. Of course, even if they did, I still like them, you know? And then we have these, these albums over here, which I think are really good. I've only listened to one on Death Magnetic, though. You could probably think of it. Um, the thing that should not be, one of, I think, this is one of the heaviest songs on Master of Puppets, but I wouldn't say it's above Battery. Like, don't get me wrong, the song's amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's heavy, it's, it's slow, that's what I like about it, it's slow. It's like Doom Metal, but if Metallica was Doom Metal... So, I'd have to put it, um, below Battery, but still, once again, a very good song. Do not get me wrong. Sanitarium. That is, like, my third favorite song, I think. It's, it's, once again, it's a very good song. Among one, it, it, a very good song. Um, I love the solo. I love every part of it. It's kind of like one, right? It's kind of like one. It starts off. Um, like not heavy, like one, and then it be cut, and it th then it goes straight into thrash, just like one. So I'd have to give it the third place spot, and you know that it, there's definitely a song that's in second place. Disposable Heroes that also goes above Battery. I love it. It is. I'm I I feel sorry for the people who like Battery. They're definitely gonna go down into the comments and say why you not like Battery enough. Once again, for every for every single person that's watching this video, I don't hate Battery. I love the song. I love every single song I'm rating. But at the same time, <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh God, help me. Um, here I'll get closer to my TV. Mm. 
I'm so sorry for being fucking mad, because I can't get words straight out of my mouth correctly. I'll t Once again, every single song I'm reading, it, they're very good songs. But once again, I'm not saying I hate Battery. I love the song. Can we get through with that? Leper Messiah, I think it's, once again, better than Battery. Oh, goodness. Battery is just getting the boot right now. Okay, here's a song that's better than, um, uh, that, that's better than the thing that should not be. Orion, of course I have listened to it, but I, I, in this type of limbo state, that I've heard it to the point where I like it, I know some parts, and I do like it, but in a limbo state, I've not heard enough, and heard enough to the point where I can rate it. Now, here's my second favorite song, Damage Inc. Of course, I don't know most of the lyrics. However, however, I, I like the, I like the drumming, I like the guitar playing, I like the bass playing. Very, very good song. Now, here comes And Justice. What, my favorite album. Oh, goodness. You, he, pause for a second. You know, I've seen a lot of comments about, like, toxic Ride the Lightning fans that have said Ride the Lightning is the best album, and if you pick Master of Puppets or And Justice for All, you're just a poser or something like that, and you don't know good music. It's all good. Can you, get, can you please get over that? Okay, rant over. Ranking time. Blackened. Very, very good song. Of course, all of these songs are long, but that's what I kind of like about it, is that they're long... The same with Master of Puppets. Most Megadeth or Ride the Lightning fans would say, Oh, and Justice for All is too long. Do you listen to Master of Puppets? That's the question. Because I think every Metallica song... Metallica listener has listened to Master of Puppets once or twice in their life before. That song's almost nine minutes long. These songs are either almost... Seven... Like, six to ten minutes long. Anyways, Blacken. Once I'm gonna have a lot of rants through this, so please skip ahead if you want to see the rankings and not just me fucking ranting about everything in the goddamn universe. Um. Anyways, back to ranking Blacken. Very good song. And Justice for All. This is my favorite song. It's very. Uh, it's it's kind of like Eye of the Behold. Well, the song isn't like Eye of the Beholder. But it's like I, it, but it is like I of the Beholder. It doesn't get much like live shows anymore. The last time they played it live was in Montreal in 2014, and the f only time they played I of the Beholder was in '89. '89. Yeah, I don't know how, like, almost 30 years ago, almost 30. I mean, they need to play Justice more, and I'm not talking about just one. One's a very good song, though I will not lie. However, it get it, it's pl it's the only it's mostly the only Justice song that's played, along with Blackened. But, what? But once again, it's still a very good song. I have the Beholder. This is like, this is at. Whenever I was like updating these, before I was updating these, I changed my ranking from one to be number two. To be for my fourth favorite song. I of the Beholder does not get a mu much credibility. It is one of the most underrated songs in this album. I think it's very I think it's very good. So that's why that's why it goes in number two. Plus I, I will I wouldn't say anything about my political stance, of course. So I, I wouldn't say that. If y'all wanna hear it, well then womp womp, because I'm not trying to get fucking cancelled by well Actually, you know what? Fuck, fuck, you know what? Fuck it, fuck it. Okay, one. That's my fourth favorite song that goes below Blackened. Actually, it goes. No. Eh. I'd say it's a tie, but. I kind of like Blackened more. The Shortest Straw. I think that's a very good song. Do not get me wrong. How did that rhyme? Okay. Alright, so Harvester of Sorrow, that's my third favorite song. It is so heavy. It is so heavy, right? 
I I love the song so much. Really, don't I I absolutely love it. Like it's 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 probably one of the he it's kind of like the thing that should not be. It's slow but absolutely heavy. Like like I, I, that's why I love the song so much. I mean, don't get me wrong. Most Metallica songs are heavy, but I like the slow ones kind of better sometimes. Not all the time, but a bit better. Anyways, the freight ends of set sanity. I don't remember the things I've heard of it. To live is to die. I like the instrumental, but w once again, I'm in that limbo state where like. I've lit. I've um. I've listened to it, but I, I've listened like kind of like Orion. So I'm gonna rate it. I don't want any offense taken to anyone, but you know it's it's kind of like Orion. Anyways, dire. <clears throat> ah. God help me. Dire's Eve also goes in there. Then we have the Black Album. Their self-titled album, Metallica. So, Enter Sandman. It's not my favorite, of course. Um, I think that this song, it's like, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's like, kind of like, to me, a bit overrated. But, you know, it may be overplayed, but that's kind of like what I like about it, is that it's overplayed. I mean, I, I listen to Master of Puppets a lot. And, of course, that song's overplayed, so why would I hate Enter Sandman for being overplayed? I just think, I, I just think Moscow 91 would be better for Enter Sandman. Or, like, any, any live version of Enter Sandman, I think that'd be better. Sad but true. Once again, sad but true. Very, very extremely heavy song. I keep saying it like it's the heaviest thing ever. But, um, Sad But True, that, I think that's a better song than Enter Sandman. Then we go to Holier Than Thou. I've heard it before, once again. Holier Than Thou, Unforgiven. That goes, um, right here. I, li I like the song. It's, it's, yeah, it is my favorite. I mean, the Unforgiven 2 used to be my favorite out of the Unforgiven series. The Unforgiven... One though, I think that's a it's the uh, the best out of it. Wherever I may roam, easily better than all of these. But there's one song that I like better, and that's "Don't Tread on Me." This is probably the most underrated song on this album, I'd say. It doesn't give it doesn't give get much credibility, um, especially since it's a political song, and I don't know, and I know James doesn't like it. But I think that I seen a uh, one one thing I seen a comment that says this is the reason this is the only reason why James doesn't play uh, doesn't make more political songs. He said it right. Don't tread on me, which I I, I like that comment a lot. Please please comment on my video. Please comment on my video. Um, but this is my favorite song. For that never. I, th I think it's under Enter Sandman, but it's definitely better than Holier Than Thou. I really like this song. Um, nothing else matters. Now, he here's the thing. It, the, oh, I cannot speak today. It's like Enter Sandman. Of course, not song-like, but in ratings, it's kind of like Enter Sandman. Usually when a newbie listens to Metallica for the first time and they get into Metallica, they'd usually listen to either this album or this album. And the songs they either listen to is Battery or Master Puppets or Enter Sandman and um nothing else matters for each album. Of course, I was introduced to Master of Puppets first. That's why it was among that's why for the longest time it was my favorite album. Until I started listening to Justice more. Nothing else matters. Once again, like one. But I think it's less heavier. But very, very, very good song.
Absolutely love it. But it has to go under Enter Sandman. Of Wolf and Man. Oh, goodness. It kind of reminds me of the God that failed. But, like, it's different. It, it's different. Oh, goodness, I thought I spat on my computer again. Jeez, please don't give me, please don't give me flashbacks. Um, of Wolf and Man, I'd say is definitely, like, my fifth favorite. And then we got the God that failed. Of course, I may be religious, but I like the song due to it, its heaviness, right? And plus, it isn't about, James is religious, is a religious person. I, yeah, he is a religious person. I hope an atheist just comments on my video saying how bad I am for being religious. I'm just calling everyone out today. Literally, that's what I'm going to do for every single video I make. Just calling people out. You know, that that's, the, that's usually what I do in my unrecorded and only one recorded video, which I didn't, which I was going to publish, but I forgot about it, and I'm definitely not going to publish it however once again it's like love wolf and man but it's uh, i'd say i'd say it's better than enter sandman but um of wolf and man's better then we got these two songs all right now we go on to load this is where people say they sold out and i can agree they did but that doesn't mean i can't like their album load here are some songs that I've listened to. Ain't My Bitch. Okay. Very good song. Um, I like it. This is my, well, my favorite, um, song that they started off, with, um, with was Hit the Light at, yeah, was Hit the Lights. No, actually, my favorite song, my favorite, um, album starter was Fight Fire with Fire. Of course, my second favorite song on the Ride the Lightning album very fast. I should have said that. Maybe I said that. Please tell me if I said that. Okay. Load. Ain't My Bitch is a very good, um, starter. Of course, if I would, if I would be ranking album starters of Metallica, then I would rate this at one. Well, maybe I like four or five. Because there are definitely some better ones. Um... But this, of course, it's going to start off 2x4. Uh, this used to be my favorite. But. If, but, of course, opinions change. And I don't think this is my favorite anymore. Um, you know, fun fact, I haven't listened to much of Load. The only song that I've listened to is Ain't My Bitch 2x4 and Mama Said. Now. I might, now, I might like Heavy, but this song, Mama Said, is probably one of the saddest songs Metallica's made, is what I think. There may be some other songs that are sadder, but, of course, they're metal, and I think most metal songs should be sad, of all. But this song, this is my favorite just by how sad it is. Like, this definitely gives you through tough times. Like, maybe in a depression of some sort. This is, this, in my opinion, this song's the literal embodiment of depression. Just absolutely sad. I love the opening. Of one, two, three, four. One, two. It just, it just sounds so sad. Rest in peace, James's mother. I mean, I mean, I don't know much about her, but... If she, I don't know if she was a good mom or not, but I hope she was. Anyways, all these other songs, of course, they go in here because I've not listened to them mostly. Now, of course, this is going to be two layers because, you know, other songs. Cure, poor twisted me, wasting my hate, torn with him. Ronnie, the outlaw torn. Uh, give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which. Oh god, did I have a voice crack? Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Okay, I'm done. Uh, 
Fuel. I think that's a very good song. I th I think. I yeah. It. What if it was on Kill 'Em All? I'd kind of like that. Um, Fuel. I think is a very good album opener. Um. Among my. It's not like my top three, but it, it definitely is top five. But maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, top five. Um, then we have, oh, okay. Mmm, mmm, this song. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think The Memory Remains is better than Fuel. What, what this is just like, this is just like, the load album. I've only listened to three songs. The Unforgiven Two is is in second place. Really, really good song. I like The Unforgiven Two a lot. I th I think I think it's a very good song. It's sad once again, but you know it ain't like Mama said, which is extremely sad. Of course, it doesn't make me cry. Once again, I think it's a very sad song. Anyways, Devil's Dance. I've listened to some of the Devil's Dance, so that goes in the Not Heard Enough. Better than you. Slither. Carp DM baby. Oh, goodness. We're gonna have to scroll down a bit. Bad Seed. Where the Wild Things Are. Prince Charming. Low Man's Lyric. Attitude. Fixer. Okay. Here here comes the most overhated Metallica album. This is a Metallica album I love, right? Um. Oh, God. But. It's very overhated. Probably because of the drums. But I think the drums kind of fit it. Well, I mean, it would fit it, but I have heard live versions of it. I think the normal drums are better, but... I, I'm not too mad about the snare sound. It's okay. Okay. Back to it. Once again, very good album opener. This is my favorite song. Frantic. Now, I, I used to think that St. Anger was the m most played song. And now I know it's Frantic. Oh, God. Well, why do I have... Why am I always... Oh! Alright, St. Anger. Um, that goes in second place. Once, once, once again, very good song. Um, the Saint Anger round my neck. He never gets respect. Okay, some kind of monster. Then we have all this. I just had another voice crack. If y'all probably heard, my world. Shoot me again. I ain't dead yet. Sweet Amber. The unnamed feeling. Purify. Now, the now finally, we got more than three songs. All Within My Hands. Once again, like Orion, but I have listened to mo most, some of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. 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 The day, the never, all nightmare long, cyanide. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, God. Y'all see this? Look how many songs I have not listened to. Oh, God. Alright, Hardwired. It's my favorite song. Um. Well, it's a tie with Here Comes Revenge. But, yeah, I actually like Here Comes Revenge better. I was just thinking about Hardwired a bit too fast. Atlas Rise, now that we're dead, Moth in the Flame, Dream No More, Halo on the Who just texted me. Why is it with every recording I have, it's always someone texting me on Discord? I need to close Discord whenever I'm about to record. Confusion. That's very, that's a very bland title. Here Comes Revenge. I like this song better. I love the intro. It literally sounds, it's... It's like Damage Inc., but it sounds more like, um, like revenge type. No pun intended. Th th that's what I think about the Here Comes Revenge intro. It sounds 
It sounds revengey. Am I savage? Spit out the bum. Chasing light. Yep. Yep. Most of the new uh most of the new Metallica song uh albums I've not heard. Um, Chasing Light. This is my second favorite song, right? I mean, I have list. I. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Look at this! Just pause. Just look at this. I need, dude. One day all of this is just gonna be gone, and I'm gonna finally be able to rank all the Metallica songs. And by all, I mean every, including all the songs I've not heard now. Too far gone, down and and now. Am I too far gone? Down and and now. Am I too? Okay. I think it's a very good song. Don't do not get me wrong. Um, I I like the catchiness. You know, if you just heard it, heard heard me singing. Too far gone. It's stuck in my head. In a in our in Amorita. In in Amorata, and Nam Orata. I just probably just. I just oh milked that name, or whatever it is. I I keep forgetting every fucking slang term. I'm done. In our Amor spaghetti. I'm just gonna call it spaghetti, just to be not funny. Um, it's my it's, of course it's a very good song. But, it's like a Ryan, once again. Um, 72 seasons gone. Once again, haven't heard it enough. Shadows follow, nah. Screaming suicide. Sleep lock my wife, my wife away. You must burn. Lock say turn on. My favorite song. As a, um, I think, of course, Lock say turn is, I think, yeah, it definitely is the most, um, played song. Sorry, just had to burp. I'm sorry about saying that. Um, I think it's, um, a, a nice song. It's pretty catchy. The solo is really overhated. I just kind of think it's okay. I think, I think it's alright. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's not like, um, old Metallica-like, but it definitely is okay. I can tolerate it. Um, but that was the list. 32 fucking minutes. Oh, God. I thought I would do this in like 20. Well, 20 if I wasn't ranting and explaining why I love it. Um, but yeah, that was, that was the thing. Think tier list. Well, what's this? Oh, it's just a thing. It's just a fucking thing. Oh, my goodness, I hate myself. Anyway. Um, this is gonna be a very weird video because some, because you can't even see the taskbar. When I went into full screen, right, I went into full screen so that y'all can see it, and now it just looks weird. It does not look full at all. Anyways, I hope you did not enjoy this. If you did, if you didn't, if you did enjoy this, please consider not liking and subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. Because, uh, my family did my, my channel does not deserve fame. I have 31 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all jokes, right? I'm only saying this because, really, I don't care about gaining subscribers. If people want to subscribe to me, they can do that. I don't care. I only say that because I want to be funny, and I'm not really funny. So, yeah, thanks for watching, I think. If you want to subscribe, I really wouldn't care less. Anyways, see you in the next video in a month or so. Ah, that hurt my, my arm. Eh.